breathe me in and let me go Sink to your heart to find you Open up your eyes till you're blinded by the lies So you can see what you do Restless every time we start looking as a Hey guys, I'm Clint Flay Wu and welcome back to another Division Build video and today this is a subscriber shout out special. Uh, nice fella called Andrew Hudson has, has sent me a challenge to say can you put together an Alpha Pred build. He's using one which is fairly balanced and it works exceptionally well. A lot, there's a lot of YouTubers put out there, a lot of high firearms builds and you know, they don't really seem to work in a group or even solo. So what can I put together? And I've done something very very similar. Let's take a look. Okay, so firstly you've seen the footage, you've seen what this build is capable of. It's an exceptional ninja by build. It's a three piece alpha bridge, two piece Predators Mark. Um, I ran it very similar to Andrew, but this is an exceptionally hard hitting build given the bonuses from Alpha Bridge, Pre obviously Predators Mark, uh, and the talents I'm using. So Ninja Bike Backpack, what does he do? Uh, it slots in with any equipped gear set item to fulfill a requirement towards unlocking a gear set bonus. Can unlock bonuses from multiple sets simultaneously. Can unlock classified gear set bonuses. So in a nutshell, that will give me an extra set, extra piece to use, which is nice. So I'm running three piece Alpha Bridge, two piece Predators Mark. So in effect, I'm rolling with four piece Alpha Bridge, three piece Predators Mark, which is nice. Alpha Bridge, what does he do? Okay, set bonus 2 is 100% health regen, set bonus 3 is 5% weapon damage, set bonus 4 is if your primary and secondary weapon is of the same category, they share the free talent. So in a nutshell, I have 4 talents on my house, very very nice. All talent requirements are ignored for all weapon talent, so I can run all firearms, all stamina, all electronics, and I still have every, every talent available to me, which is again, very very tasty on any build. And Predator's Mark. Okay, set bonus 2 is 10% reload speed. And set bonus 3 is 8% assault rifle damage and 8% SMG damage as well. Which is also very nice and gives the house a little bit of an extra kick. Okay, so let's take a look at Alpha Bridge first. The Alpha Bridge chest piece and have I got this rolled. And it's rolled into stamina with health on kill. Health minor is ammo. In terms of the mods, they are two stamina critical hit chance mods. Onto the Alpha Bridge Mask, it is firearms with critic chance, damage to elites, with stamina health as the mod. Now onto the Predators Mark knee pads, and it is rolled into stamina with health, disrupt resistance, damage to elites, and disorient resistance. Two mods, stamina health and first aid self heal. Onto the holster, it is critical at chance as the major and a first aid self heal performance mod. And the gloves, it is firearms with critical hit chance, SMG G damage, critical hit damage. And on the Ninja by backpack, it is critical hit damage, ammo capacity, and the three mods, stamina health, and two first aid self heal mods. Onto the house, 22.9 base damage. I've got Unforgiving, Deadly, Card Counter, and the free talent from Alpha Bridge. Responsive. It's all about damage this build is to hit as hard as possible in a short space of time. And in terms of weapon attachments, again, as always, it's critic chance, critic damage, a little bit of stability and reload speed. 
the MP7, and this is my utility weapon. Um, it is predatory as the first talent, which is ex exceptional. This will get me that healing back. And again, I always try and switch to put, put players down to get the final touch on players. Um, kill NPCs just to get me that heal back over time, which is top, top tier. But I don't want to give away any damage talents on my house. I use this as, as secondary and I'll switch it, take NPCs down and the like. Hurried, really handy given you've got 43 bullets on MP7 and you'll be reloading more often than you think. So this is it's definitely a decent talent to use on an MP7 and you'll see, you'll rinse through the ammo. Again, it's just switching that really, really quickly, get that reload speed back and obviously you've got the Predators Mark 10% as well from the, from the uh, gloves and the knee pads and it's, it's very, very handy. So it's a decent talent to roll with responsive especially against NPCs and then responsive as the free talent on my house weapon attachments crystal chance rate of fire crit damage crit stability and accuracy now we're going to talk about the character sheet my crystal chance is 48% crystal damage 121% and then we look at Shall I use Vicious? And the answer is no. And the reason why I'm not using Vicious is I have Precision as a talent that I have on nearly every build I roll with. And that's because that will give me 12.5% critical hit chance, 25% critical hit damage. And that is just simply by popping a headshot. And 10% I have a max critical hit chance. It is as simple as that. And that's just a free talent to use one of four, I would fully recommend it because it gives you that extra damage output. So definitely, definitely have that equipped and I have that on here. So instead of rolling with every every mod of stamina critic chance, I'll take away that 3% critic chance because I've got that from precision anyway and stack that into stamina health, which gives me a, a little bit more survivability, a little bit more sustain uh, to fight NPCs and players. Damage leak 28%, which is quite nice. Health and kill 5%. Again, it gives me a little bit of kick uh, when I'm taking players and NPCs down. No skill haste. There's my max health, 351k. And we look at the abilities, stop the skills, and boost a shot. I've got a little bit of extra, a smidgen of health, um, but it's not there for the health sustain. That is more so for the damage through boost a shot. And then onto the immunizer support station. This is to again get that bleed away. It is to get me healing. It's it's there again to keep me alive. This is very very handy and a top tier skill to use. The four talents, and I think with this build they would be the only four talents I would use, and four of the best in that fact. Adrenaline, key talent, critical save. In a group, I would switch to Combat Medic. Solo, critical save. Precision, again as discussed, top tier, make sure you've got it equipped. And on the move, and that makes you a little bit more tankier for 10 seconds. Very, very nice. Now, I've used this build with Competent as the fourth talent on my house. It, it's good, don't get me wrong, it's very effective, but responsive is better because you have that 10% damage all of the time in that 10 meter radius. Competent, again, is very situational, and if I had 50% uh, skill haste or 40 skill haste, I would consider using competent. I haven't, I've got zero, so it doesn't really benefit me as much as it should do. So responsive is a better, more viable option to use. Now, this is the build, Alpha Pred, lots of fun. Um, and a subscriber shout out special Andrew Hudson thanks for reaching out thanks for giving me the challenge uh, this is the build this is how I've run it and it is a super fun build to use and if you guys want to see a bit me do a build of your choice in the future then drop a comment in the box I'd be more than happy to do so for you and if you've in obviously enjoyed this video please smash the like button and you want to see more division based content then please 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 smash the subscribe button okay guys I'll catch you soon in the DZ. Take it easy, guys.